my target superheat should be 20. So we just said that we need, we have um, outdoor uh, temperature, right, of 90, right, 80, okay, 80 degrees for that package unit, and my web of temperature was 70. So my target superheat should be 20. It doesn't mean it's gonna be 20 at the moment. You still have to clamp, put your temperature clamp on your suction line, subtract that by your evaporator temperature and see what your current superheat is. So one thing is your target superheat based on the numbers and your current superheat. Both things are different. ABCs, airflow before charge. If your airflow is bad, dirty filters, um, undersized um, uh, return, dirty condenser, forget about this. You have to make sure you have good airflow. But after you checked all of it, you're gonna get a target superheat of 20 based on what we, what we did, but that doesn't mean the system, the current superheat will be at 20. If the actual superheat is too high, meaning my target, my target superheat is 20, and then when I, as a technician, go to the unit and clamp up and get my current superheat, and let's say it's 30, my current, is telling you add refrigerant because right now my evaporator is a little bit flooded. Based on the conditions, I should be at 20. As you add more refrigerant, that 30 slowly goes down to 20. You have more liquid refrigerant in the evaporator. Now, if the actual superheat is too low, meaning let's say you go to a job, and now, actually we'll put 30 here, let's go to a job, and, um, and let's say your actual superheat now is 10, I'll put it right here, 10 for this example here, 10 degrees, but you're supposed to be at 20, right? Because wet bulb is 70, your outdoor is 90. It should be at 20, but you're reading 10 degrees. Whoa, it might be a little bit slightly overcharged. Let me go ahead and recover and remove some refrigerant to get it to 20, okay? That is why it's a critical charge system. You're gonna have to follow, of course, after ABC, airflow before charge, your wet bulb temperature, your outdoor temperature, where your target superheat is, and then get your current superheat, and it has to be close to the target superheat because it is a critically charged system.